belong to a labor class family so i like and there is no connection with art and all this or any other cultural things so mostly my relatives everybody is doing either agriculture related jobs or mm. daily labors so i don't have any background of art and all these things so when i was studying in school so one of my art teacher he found my interest in art so he was so inspirational for me so he was giving me special training like after school hours so he insists my friends to stay back and like and be as my live models and all these things for me it was at that time it was very difficult to afford or to get the my materials and all these things so he was giving me all this use papers so i can use the other side of this paper to for my practice and all these things and yeah so and that time itself he was saying like so you can continue your uh, career in art so after completion completing my bachelor's uh, i moved to mumbai to find some living so so actually i follow my siblings paths because all after their graduation all moved to mumbai so then accidentally i met uh, the malayali artists who are like will be famous in indian and contemporary art so i expressed them my interest uh, to uh, to continue or to build a career in art and uh, so i was like that time i was like desperately looking for some space to stay and all these things so one of the artists like uh, he just provided me his studio space and so he taken me as his studio assistant then i at the same time i joined for my masters in jj school of art uh, so jj was for me more of like kind of uh, place for like meeting new people so interacting with uh, no no a lot of people uh, so and experience the galleries outside and all this in my early days in mumbai so i was like more fascinated with the city and its life because i am from a village background completely village background so i am very much influenced with the life the speed the shiny aspects and and then it's like i was like visiting different regularly visiting different areas of the city is taking photographs and everything so all the positive the the because whenever somebody who has like from a different background is reaching is experiencing an entirely different thing so that's like the the outward ness that's what you can see in my early work so that's where i was like using headlight and because that was my that was my met one of my metaphor in painting so i was just using making a lot of colorful lot of it was like a lot of colorful uh, paintings of headlights and then the, all the life in in the city so it's like a reflection on the, all these things and i was even making large scale works even i did one of the work was like 30 feet by 8 feet so monumental in size but after a point you feels like exhausted or you 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 start looking into a different angle or you you look into more details or you start looking into yourself and then your perception gradually changes and then you so that is like the point like when i started that time like i was searching for other mediums to express my uh, feelings and all these things and 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 that time like i got a invite uh, to participate in the first kochi uh, musuris binale so i we, we we were like we as a groups like two people were there so we were as a group so we were doing the uh, a research program about the 100 years of malayalam periodicals so me and one of my friend so we were uh, like archiving all the 
visual elements from these magazines. So we was we almost six seven months we spend in in an archival library in Kerala from morning to evening, like looking and experiencing all the books and you know. So that was a different experience. Like you you are t touching something which is old and and you will get a different feeling. So that has you know made me uh, that experience has made me to uh, join into museum studies. So that then later on I did a one year diploma course in museology, and and uh, so while coming back in Mumbai, so after reaching Mumbai, so I was just. Uh, going to flea markets and all this thing and collecting old books and all, all these things so because I was interested with the all images historic images and everything in the in the books at the same time so were the in, in the studio where you asked uh, where, where I was uh, staying so this uh, this artist is a master in woodwork so you can see a lot of discarded woods uh, with wood piece, pieces everywhere so I was like thinking how I can use uh, these these wood pieces in a different way. So and then I like I I started like experimenting with uh, with uh, using these images from the books and that's how it looks like when I I I, I put it in, in in wood and all these things. So I was experimenting with different mediums. So initially it was like completely failure. So, but gradually I was getting good results uh, of this transferring. So image like image is moving from one place to another. So that's how I started this uh, transferring printing process. Actually, I have a habit of visiting uh, different places through Google Map, especially places of historic and archaeological importance. Uh, so because the maps gives you a, 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 you know, a, a different you know, perspective, you know, especially the aerial maps. Because uh, in a, if you take the history of uh, the, the humankind or something, so because till certain point it was very uh, unimaginable to, to see or you know, to visualize a land from that perspective. So only in, in some recent uh, time, that we, we we manage that so that was like very interesting very uh, that view of, of seeing something from an uh, ideal perspective was very and in the initial initially i i did a map of two cities it's very small work so that was one was uh, jericho and uh, the one of the oldest continuously inhabiting city and then the other was Ur which is a, a lost city actually but uh, when you see the map of, of Ur what you see is uh, the, uh, the military base of the US army so from, from there they carried out the attack on to Iraq so because you hardly see any remainings of this old city so it's that has entirely transformed to something else so that was like very, you know, very, very interesting for me. It's like uh, something because something is their past and present and this transformation to something else. Uh, so then I just started doing because Google Maps allows me to create large scale maps. So I st stitch uh, hundreds of screenshots and make my large desirable size maps. And then I, sometimes I I do edit a lot of editing, like I change its perspective and make it as a you know, you know different angle, give different angle to that. And then I make it as grids, like small pieces and all these things. Yeah, that's then when transferring these images, these maps to to wood to a different surface so you get accidental result through my work uh, so i it covers uh, my different interests 
So actually you can see my interest in history and migration and also my interest in politics and also my interest in environment and all these things. So when you, so when you are coming to this work, so you can especially see the, uh, the all these expert aspects in the work. So why I choose uh, this particular land, it's because of this history of the particular land. And then, then, and then I'm just, just curious about the, or concerned about the, uh, the politics of this particular land. Mm -hmm. And also I'm just worried or, or conscious about the, uh, the pollution or the other problems which is happening in this land. So all these are, all my interests are covering in this work. So I just wondered, my, the viewers just, you know, uh, different angles of you know, reading. So when you travel in, in plane and all these things, so, so you can see when you in a cloud, some like clouds are there, so you can see the, uh, the shadows on, on the terrain. And then, so that's a little bit interesting for me. So in this work also, so I was just creating that kind of intuition kind of thing. But here the cloud has formed above the our central administrative regions like uh, Parliament House, Rashtrapati Bhavan, up in South Road, Block. And also the, the proposed central Vista project which was accidental actually because I did this work before this announcement and this news of this uh, Central Vista Dal projects and all these things. So I was a uh, little bit curious about, about the decisions is coming from this area and from this place. So that's how, that's what you can see with, with the clouds. I collect a lot of uh, visual elements like a lot of things from different museums so which includes uh, like museum uh, figures from museum dioramas, museum objects and some other different figures, prototypes and everything. So and actually uh, these are like a so when you take uh, these figures and this thing, these are not a representation of this is it's not a living object. It's all dead. Uh, so, but uh, through my works, I'm just making some connection uh, because so that you can I can I can bring all these different elements together and they, they can interact with each each other and then uh, bring new meaning. Uh, but uh, but um, because they are a representation of something dead. If you look at the vintage maps, so you can see a kind of uh, scrolls on top and bottom, sometimes sides and on side portions. So the, this was my intention to use all these scrolls. And on one area you see public, normal public is standing. And on the other area, it's like uh, the people of authority. So, so the, now you are in harmony. So I'm just showing how you are in harmony. So, but, but anytime there will be some external force which destroys your harmony. So just be aware about it. So that's just I wanted to show these ideas. In this world. I have been shared uh, stories of migration of our uh, ancestors uh, by my elders of our family so this is like uh, in childhood this was like a so always you can hear stories about you know, so from where our, we, we came from so and all this interesting so i was like very much curious to know the exact our locations like which, because there is no confirmed stories nothing is there so, so i was like very much uh, so curious to know 
exactly was and this, but uh, uh, and in one of my recent works i'm just started uh, enquiring and uh, using uh, these questions in my work every species species has a kind of uh, migration history so when you take in their evolution or period of living so whether it's humans or animals plants everything has moved from one place to another so that's also interesting for me actually serena's works it's more interesting like because when you see her works so especially so because there are she did a lot of borders and all these things india pakistan border even even this yamuna thing you see it as a border like that so when i see her works i was like saying this when i look at her works i don't see the uh, black areas like the black is normally you print it i know so because so if you are doing uh, this thing uh, wood cut so you remove some areas and then so so in if you look at her work so i see the negative space mostly right. and then the barley painting it's mostly connected with my way of uh, you know you know showing uh, especially i'm very much interested in uh, in the miniatures you know just barley painting so because i use especially there there because if you look at the indian miniatures their way of representing perspective is different and and because every because even though something which is is there in the horizon or in a so that also getting some kind of important so i also is like a treat in in my to my works it's i just break this conventional perspectives and then i just create my own perspectives so yeah that kind of connection is there